Welcome to another full day of eating. I know I haven't done a lot of these, but I'm definitely going to start doing that more as I get further into my cut. And right now I am going to track today's food because I want to have an idea of the macros that I've been reaching. But I kind of have a goal just so I can prepare myself for this upcoming cut because this is a few days before I officially start the cut. So about the macros that I want to hit today is 155 grams of protein, 230 carbs, and 45 grams of fat. That is pretty low but I just want to get myself ready. And it's gonna be about a 10 to 12 week cut with cardio and everything. So I'm excited to see the transformation and get ready. So that's why it's kind of low today. So for breakfast, we're gonna have 125 grams of egg substitute, 50 grams of old fashioned oats, 25 grams of spinach, and one scoop, which is 25 grams of the cookies and cream from my protein, it's really good. Highly recommend it. And for my protein, they have great prices, so make sure you go ahead and check them out. And you can always find someone with a discount code so you can get it for even cheaper. So that's gonna be the first meal. It's almost 10 o'clock. I did wake up at seven o'clock this morning, walk to campus, and I did fasted cardio. I don't do fasted cardio because I think it's gonna be better than doing it later on in the day. It's just, I wake up, I feel better. Doing cardio without anything in my system. I will drink pre-workout during it. That's kind of like my coffee. And right now for cardio, three to four times a week, and it's at with a three percent incline at 3.3 miles per hour. It's just about what I've been doing around 25 minutes, which gets me at 150 calories, and that will increase as I get further along in my cut. But that's going to do it for meal one. I am going to track, and I'll take you guys through all my meals. I'm excited to see what we have in store, so stay tuned. Thank you for clicking on this video, and I'll see you in the next clip. Also, I wanna go over the app that I use. Now, for a while, when I first started getting into fitness, I used MyFitnessPal, loved it. I think they have a great database where you can find any type of food, meals, restaurants on there. It's great, but what I have been using for almost a year now is called My Macros Plus. So it is that middle app right there. My Macros Plus. I like it because you can be more precise with your servings. So I had my meal one and there, focus, there you go. And at the top, it'll show you how much you have left remaining for the day. And then just like my fitness pal, it breaks everything down that you are eating for the day, keeps track of it, percentages. And serving wise, I like this better than my fitness pal because you can get it down to the gram, the ounce, milliliter, anything that you're measuring it by. Whereas my fitness pal, it's not as accurate in my opinion. Now, if you are going to a restaurant, you're gonna be more successful looking up the meal with my fitness pal. And what I do is I'll have both apps going. So I will search the meal from the restaurant on my fitness pal, see what that the numbers are, the macros are, and then I will put it into my macros plus here on this app. That way I can be more accurate. So my macros plus, that's what I've been using for about a year now. I highly recommend it. You put in your weight, height, all that stuff. You set your goals, set your macros. And I just think it's very good. So that's what I use. That's what I'm using today. I'll put the name of the app down below in the description box just in case you forget. So again, my macros plus. I'm gonna finish my breakfast. See you guys for the next meal. So it is 12.30 and yes, we still have our Christmas tree in the house. I know, it's March. Anyway, it's 12.30 now. I'm gonna have my next meal, which will be meal number two. We're gonna do kind of light and then I'll eat again right before I go to work about 2.30ish. I have cooking 100 grams of rice because I'm gonna have 50 grams of rice now, 50 grams of rice later when I come back from work and before I go work out tonight. And then I have 100 grams of cooked chicken and slice of Swiss cheese. Swiss cheese is like my go-to. Again, this barbecue sauce I've been using for a while now, you guys have seen in videos before. If you're looking for sugar-free or gluten-free, like barbecue style sauce, it's very good. You can't tell the difference. Personally, I love it. I just picked up some more from the store, so highly recommend that. So again, it's gonna be rice. I have rice cooking for now and for later. The chicken, and I'll throw the cheese in there into the bowl. I love eating stuff in the bowl because I just think it everything tastes better in a bowl. So that's what I have going right now. I've just been working on some work right there, getting videos done, editing, 
all that good stuff. Homework as well, because you can't forget about that. Student first, and then everything I do for you guys. So, this is meal number two. You ever have that one food that you're just so excited to eat that day? You know, you have to wait for it? Well, that's the Combat Crunch Bars for me. Uh, my One of my favorite protein bars by far. Gonna have the cookies and cream bar right now, along with two plain rice cakes. That's gonna hold me over while I have to work, so I'm dressed. Got the Leah Roar shirt on. That way I'm all dressed for the gym when I get done work. So it's a little bit after 2, 2.15 right now. Going to eat this, the protein bar, two rice cakes. So a little bit of protein, mainly carbs. Eat that, head to work, babysit, nanny, do all that wonderful stuff. And then I'll come back here, have a little bit of pre-workout meal, head to the gym, post-workout meal. That's gonna pretty much wrap up the full day of eating. Hopefully you guys are enjoying it so far. I'll see you guys in the next clip. And this video is already up, but if you haven't already, go ahead and check that out. Just a little fun food challenge. This one is already up. Don't forget to subscribe and like if you haven't already. It's cold here, guys. It's supposed to snow, but since I have a few minutes, I'm gonna eat this. Um. Eat this, have a few minutes, um, Matt Does Fitness just came out with a video, and his sarcasm is amazing, so watching that. Let's see what he's got. Hey, see you, Ryan. Because <laughs> I'm in the toilet. No, baby. Um, I'm in the gym. I realized I hadn't filmed the intro to my video, and so I thought the best thing to do would be to come up to the toilet, drink some chocolate milk, <laughs> and vlog. Such a funny YouTuber. Highly recommend him. But you guys are probably following them already. Anyway, eating this, had my rice cakes. I've got a few minutes, gonna watch this, then head to work. See you in the next clip. I keep saying I'm gonna go to work, but yet I'm still here. <laughs> but seriously, after this clip, I'm going to work and I'll see you guys later tonight. While I'm at work, since it's gonna be a few hours, I'm going to be sipping on this Amped Recovery. So again, you can drink it. During your workouts, focus, focus. Okay, there we go. So you can drink it during your workouts or throughout the day. So it's kind of like BCAAs, and it's the orange mango. So I'm going to sip on this. This is to hold me over while I'm at work. And seriously, this is the last time you're seeing me until my next meal. So bye. See, I told you next time you see me, it'll, it'll be after work. So it is 5.32 right now. I'm hungry, I had a few pretzels while I was nannying. So I'm gonna whip up a little bit of pre-workout meal. So be the rest of the rice that I made from earlier and some chicken and maybe some other stuff because I'm really hungry. I know the macros that I told you guys earlier was pretty low, but based off how I feel, I might eat a little bit more, especially my workout coming up. I'm probably gonna head to the gym about 7.30. So we've got two hours to eat and digest. Let's see what I make. So I think this is meal four. And what we have is the other rice that I cooked from earlier. So 50 grams of rice, 85 grams of chicken, slice of Swiss cheese melted in there, all mixed in. And also for more fat, I have this one farm sugar-free creamy, creamy bacon dressing. There's only for two tablespoons, 40 calories. It's only four grams of fat. Zero carbs, zero protein. One of Farms products, I think, you know, it's an acquired taste, so you get used to it. I definitely was not a fan of this dressing to start off with, but I got used to it and I have it. So we're gonna do two tablespoons, so that'll give me four more grams of fat. And honestly, it's still early, so it's like 5.50 now. I probably gonna leave for the gym, like I said, 7.30, 7.45. And I said I was only gonna have 230 grams of carbs, but right now, I'm not feeling so hot, so just put, that's what it looks like. It's kind of chunky. So I'm thinking after this meal, I will probably eat again, or eat right after, have a little bit more carbs before I go to the gym, and then have a post-workout meal, which will be oatmeal and some peanut butter, I believe. But I'm gonna eat this. Hopefully I'll feel better by the gym. I know I have plenty of time. And that'll be it. Nothing really exciting for this full day of eating, but you know, every once in a while you're gonna do the food challenge and have beefy days or cheat days. But I mean, this is typically 
typically what I eat every single day. And I enjoy it, you get used to it. <laughs> There's ways to make it exciting, so. I'm gonna enjoy this, and I'll see you guys for the next meal. That cheese, though. Excuse me for my manners. So we knew that meal wasn't gonna last long. On to part two of meal five. So what we have now is 30 more grams of oats, and it looks brown, hopefully you can see that. Brown because I put in more Walden Farms chocolate syrup. Zero calories, so really good. Tastes good too. Not something that you have to get used to, which is nice. And I forgot to mention that I did have another rice cake with the rice and chicken. So this will be my extra carbs. And I'm okay with adjusting my macros today because before I actually start this cut, I'm just getting a feel for what I'm eating and you know how I can start my cut, where I want to go with it. So I'm flexible dieting. Look at that. It actually works. So listening to my body, adjusting my carbs, keeping everything else the same. And still, actually, I planned everything out for the rest of the day. Still hitting my um, calorie range. So... That's the plan. I'm gonna eat this and probably take a nap. It's six o'clock now. So I'll catch you in the next clip. Mm. Time to wake up and get to the gym. I feel a little bit better. I did close my eyes for 30 minutes, maybe. Mm, this is not what I need. Mm. Mm. Gonna make a cup of coffee, hit the store, hit the gym. Let's go. Wake up. That's what I need. Keys, coffee, water. Coffee, water, coffee. Camera in one hand, need another hand. Gym time. It's amazing what a quick power nap will do because I honestly felt like crap before. I never nap. Literally never nap. There was one time where I was like, alright, I'm going to go nap. I lay down and I was like, oh, I'm wide awake, even though I was exhausted like five minutes before. But I guess that's what I needed. Right now I feel a lot better. Police. Uh oh. So anyway, headed to the gym. I'm not going to show you this workout footage because that workout footage is already up and you should have already seen it. And if you haven't, what are you doing? You're not watching my videos. I'm going to find you. Just kidding. Check that out if you haven't already. I'll wait here. Okay, hopefully you're watching it. Anyway, I'm going to do that. Gotta go to the store before the gym, and it is 7.20 right now. I'm going later for you guys, so I can film there. And then I'll show you my last meal after the workout, so I'll see you guys then.